Take a look at these images. What if I told you one of them was actually AI? Now you probably didn't know AI could create such realistic images like that, but I still think I can do better. So in this video, I challenged AI to create an interior and an exterior rendering better than me. But it turns out it's gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought, so stay until the end. We will be starting with the interior renders, and for that, I will be using Prome AI. But before we get to that, I'll have to take a screenshot of the space that we'll be using in Prome AI. To have the best results, I'm going to bring a screenshot into Illustrator to enhance the line weights of the edges. The thicker and easier to read line weight will significantly improve the AI's recognition of the image. There's no need for traditional rendering softwares for when you can upload a sketch or a 3D model screenshot into Prome AI's sketch to render tool. For the text prop, I started off off my description pretty generic, just trying to get a baseline for the results. But what makes Pro AI stand out from its competition are the customizable options, which include various scenes, architecture styles, and creativity sliders. I started with the version two model, but initially the first few images didn't turn out quite like how I wanted. I was hoping AI was the problem and it wasn't due to my lack of competence using the software, but I didn't lose hope and I went looking for a solution. I found that if you go into the modes option, there are several different modes you can choose from. Each one provides a different structure and analysis of your imported sketch or render. I tried out a few options, but still wasn't liking what I saw. The strategy I used to achieve the best results was to either use the concept or structure mode combined with a creativity setting roughly between 40 and 55. These settings will allow you to achieve a rendering that is most consistent with the original input. If your final output doesn't have to perfectly match the original image that you imported, then you will definitely get higher quality results with a higher creativity setting. The images are getting better, but I feel like I still haven't maximized the results yet. I know I'm making it look easy, but Prom AI doesn't require a lot of skill. The user interface makes it easy to choose from an extensive library of architecture styles and interior furniture options that you can add to your renderings. I basically just spammed like 20 renderings in a few minutes and you can't get that speed with traditional rendering platforms. After exhausting all my options, I still wasn't satisfied, but in order to create the exact style that I wanted, I would have to use the consistency model training tool. Now all that is a lot easier than you might think. All you have to do to train your own AI model was find an example image of the style you want for this, I just went to Google. Then you wanna write out a detailed description about what you want and then finally add a few usage scenarios. And just like that, you have your own custom AI trained model. And if that's too much for you, there's always a huge library of trained AI models that you can use created by Prom AI community members. The great news is Prom AI doesn't require a degree, nor do you even have to know how to read. However, you might need $29 a month and the ability to use a computer before you're on your way to mastering AI rendering. But will the AI images be enough to compete against me using DeFi Render? Stay tuned to find out. So I gave myself a time limit of an hour just to level the playing field for this competition. With the building already modeled, that leaves the majority of my work in D5 to be dedicated towards setting the scene, placing furniture, changing the materials, and adding lighting. This is all something that can be included in the text prompt using AI. But can AI really arrange the furniture around with ease like I can? I don't think so. The ability in D5 to move everything to the exact location I want is a huge advantage. Obviously, this is sped up, but you can see it does take some time to arrange and curate the space to be exactly how I want it. I then made the final adjustments to the material and the lighting, but I bet you didn't see this coming. I just threw your curveball using D5's latest AI tool to enhance the final rendering, but technically it does count because it's still part of the D5 software. I think I did a good job, but how do you think it compares to the AI rendering? Be honest in the comments below which one you think is better for the interior rendering. The exterior is typically where AI tends to expose itself with the lack of accuracy in the details. But Prom AI is looking to prove the haters wrong. Just as important will be the prompt and the settings that I choose for these exterior images. The main difference in the process will be in the scene setting. For the exterior rendering, you will select the options within the architecture category, but beware of the interior rendering settings still being selected. So make sure to remove those to prevent a tragic outcome. For the exterior renderings, I will be using version three so you guys can see the similarities and differences between the two. Just as a refresher, I used version two in the interior renderings. Right off the bat, AI is off to a good start with the first couple images. I really like the ability to choose the time of day for the images as well as basically an unlimited list of architecture building styles, 
which will definitely test your architecture history knowledge. As you can tell between images, the consistency of the surrounding scene can drastically change. Some of this comes down to the creativity setting, but sometimes it's just trial and error. To avoid this, you can be more clear with your text prompt and describe the scene around the building that you want and visualize. For me in this instance, I'm not super picky and so far I'm liking the unique iterations that AI has created. But I spent some more time testing out some of the new styles, but I couldn't quite get it perfect. But that's okay because this next tool can solve a lot of your problems. Maybe not world hunger, but, but close. Using the race and replace tool in Prome AI allows you to replace move, retouch, and insert objects within the image. I know this doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense, but I wanted to turn this grassy area into a sandy desert-like terrain. And it's random ideas like this that AI allows you the ability to test out. On another image I like, there was a random bar sticking out, so I used the remove tool to fix the image. You can also use the insert object feature. First, you have to find an image of what you want to insert, for instance, a pool, and then describe it or name it in the text box. Finally, you will draw the area you want the element to be inserted and AI will take care of the rest. Here are some of the results of the AI exterior renders. I'm up against a lot more than I thought, but I'm still confident in my abilities to beat AI. Back to D5 render we go. The pressure is on to create the best exterior rendering the world has ever seen, or at least better than AI. Exterior rendering is definitely a little bit more complex. I started finding the right materials and placing them on the building, but it only gets more difficult from here because other elements like lighting and the surrounding environment play a huge role in the final outcome and you just can't fake it like you do with AI. Yes, I probably didn't have to build a full mountain range around the building, but I wanted to test out D5's new custom terrain tool. It was definitely a ton of fun to play with, but if I wanna keep my job, I definitely have to focus up. I knew placing vegetation would substantially upgrade my scene, so I surrounded the house with trees and then began placing smaller vegetation near the house. What makes or breaks renderings like these are the details, like how I am extending the sidewalk to wrap around the driveway. But nothing else would matter unless I found the perfect sky and lighting for the scene. And after some deliberation, I landed on my favorite. And here they are side by side. First, the exterior renderings, and then the interior renderings. But I wanna know what you guys think. So in the comments below, tell me if you think the AI or the D5 render is best for the interior and the exterior rendering. But most importantly, do you think I should keep my job or is AI gonna beat me out?